In August, a historic storm swept through the northeastern U.S., hitting Long Island, New York, and Connecticut hard. Suffolk County received nearly 11 inches of rain on August 19, resulting in flash floods that wreaked havoc on infrastructure. The Smithtown Library in Smithtown was one of the hardest-hit buildings, water surged through the lower level, breaking windows and walls, and reaching depths of 10 feet. Thousands of books, computers, and historical artifacts from the Richard H. Handley collection of Long Island Americana were destroyed. This collection included priceless documents signed by Thomas Jefferson. Restoration efforts are now underway, but the total damage is estimated at $10 million. The storm's impact extended beyond the library. In Stony Brook, Harbor Road collapsed, forming a giant sinkhole, while Mill Pond at Avalon was completely washed out. Suffolk County Executive Ed Romaine declared a state of emergency, estimating the total county damage at over $50 million. New York Governor Kathy Hochul also signed a disaster emergency order to aid recovery efforts. Halfway across the world, Typhoon Yagi, the most powerful storm to hit Asia this year, made landfall in China's Hainan province on September 6. Yagi had already devastated the Philippines earlier in the week, where over a dozen people lost their lives, as it approached China, its force doubled, bringing 145 miles per hour winds, heavy rain, flooding, and landslides. Ahead of Yagi's arrival, authorities in Hong Kong, Macau, and several Chinese provinces shut down schools, businesses, and transport networks, evacuating over 400,000 people from Hainan Island alone, airports in Vietnam were also closed to ensure safety. Yagi's impact was catastrophic, with winds exceeding 150 miles per hour battering Hainan's northern coast, a storm surge wreaked havoc along the coastline, and flooding rain reached northern Vietnam, where cities like Hanoi are bracing for up to 20 inches of rain. Typhoon Yagi ranks as the second most powerful tropical cyclone globally in 2024, surpassed only by Hurricane Barrel in the Atlantic, both storms have left a profound mark on their respective regions, with recovery efforts now underway.